morning, everybody. Or hello. I made it to Hearst, Ontario. We only got a parking lot here. This is where we're at right now. May as well start the vlog right here. How's everybody doing today? So I've got a long drive ahead of me today. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I can make it back home into Manitoba. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It's gonna be, it's gonna be quite the drive. So we better get out there. I just stopped here for a coffee, get myself all properly woken up. Let's go burn some diesel fuel. Let's get out there. All right, oops, I moved up here just to the front of the lot and I realize I should probably get Karen up and awake here too. She's been sleeping in. Come on, Karen. Come on. Come on. Lazy. There you go. Okay. That all wrong. So the tattoo's uh, healing pretty good. It's just scabbing a little bit. It's got some dry skin that's peeling off. I'm not supposed to peel that off myself though. But uh, yeah, the bandage came off a few days ago because it was uh, peeling and you have to peel it off right away then because you don't want moisture to get underneath there. So I've just been keeping it clean with unscented soap and moisturized uh, about twice a day. But eh, it's got that skin peeling off a little bit. It should be fully healed in uh, oh, probably about another week or so. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get out there. Let's do some truck and let's burn some fuel. on the flat lands here because we're up on highway 11 so oh I, I do like this highway better i don't like those hills on the 17. literally just got like 15 miles down the road and a bug goes splat right in front of my camera lens so i'm sorry guys i'm not sure you can see it there or not it's like right in front of you oh yeah you can see it Wipers, they don't wipe it off. So I'm, I'm doing my best here. I, I don't mean to make you look at bug guts. I just wish 
wish they had more passing lanes because if you get stuck behind someone going slow, oh, these drivers up here, I tell you, they'll be doing like, okay, speed limit here is 90, right? Oh, coming up here at 70 and it looks like a construction zone. But usually speed limit here is 90, right? And then you'll have people going 70 down the highway and as soon as you get to a passing lane, you know, they'll floor it and do 120. That happens all the time. You just sort of get used to that. You just sort of expect that. Well, I guess I shouldn't have gotten upset about the one bug. An hour down the road and I'm covered. Like, wow. Yikes. I, I gave up trying to clean them off because my wipers, they don't actually clean them off. They just smear them around. You know, it would be nice to have bug wash or like windshield washer that actually got the bugs off the windshield, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that just be revolutionary? Because I've tried all kinds of different brands of washer fluid and all it does is it just smears the bugs around on the window. It doesn't actually take them off the window. Like, is it, like I've tried different brands of wipers as well and it just smears it around. It doesn't take it off. What brand do you guys use? You know, I've talked to Bolson on and I've told, you know, you guys got to develop a uh, a bug wash that we can put directly into our uh, washer reservoir, right? And they've definitely been thinking about it. I talked to uh, Van there, he's the owner. And he's thought about it, but it, it's there's a couple of uh, uh, snags on that that make it a little difficult for them to move their product from an uh, aerosol can, which is sealed from oxygen, into a washer fluid reservoir once the product touches oxygen, it changes, right? I'm not a chemist, so I don't understand how it all works, but he has thought about it, and it's, uh, it's more difficult than it sounds to, it, it sounds like it'd be a completely different formula, but uh, they're working on it. It'd be nice to just put Bolson right in there, and then you can clean your windshield off with some Bolson without even getting out of the truck, right? But I can get this all off easily, but like I'll spray my windshield with the visible, and then I'll clean my window off, and then an hour down the road, it's gonna look like this again. So it's just, <sighs> it is what it is. It's gonna be one of those days. Not sure if the camera's picking up all these bugs or not. You're sitting on top of my head, so I'm not sure what you're, what you're seeing, but it's, uh, yeah, just an hour's worth. It's gonna be one of those days, you know? It's just. Nothing we can do about it. Just gonna have to stop often and keep cleaning it. I don't know where all these bugs are coming from. Man, what are you doing on the road? That's silly. Stay in the bush. I picked up a few more friends. I was lonely. A couple of hitchhikers on my windshield. I'll get them off soon. It's actually only two hours from Hearst to Long Lock, so it's a two hour stretch where there's practically nothing. I did have cell service now, though, so they must have put up a couple more towers. But, uh, it, uh, about two hours of very remote wilderness driving. Now from here, we go all the way down. It's kind of remote again. A few small towns until we get to Nipigon, and then that's where we meet up with the 17 again. And we go across that one bridge that connects east and west. Long way to go yet. Long way to go. I'm thinking we'll probably be done our day at about three to four in the morning. Woohoo! All right, we found a little place to pull over, finally taking a break. We're gonna bull snot this windshield. This is crazy. Oh, yes. Isn't that nice? It'll probably be just as bad again in like 10 minutes, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. I'm gonna leave you right here. spray a lot better than it was enjoy it while you can guys it's only gonna last like 10 minutes. Let's get 
back out there. As soon as this pickup truck comes past. This road for 112 kilometers.
everybody. We're back in Dryden. Three and a half hours left to get home. And I have just barely enough time on my clock that I might make it. Maybe. We'll see what happens. I don't want to make any promises to myself, but I, I think we can do it. I think so. It's been a good night so far. Let's knock on wood and keep going. But first, we're going to stop for our last coffee of the day. We have an Esso Husky coming up here. here and just run inside grab a quick small coffee just to get me through the rest of the day it's been a long day but you know it's gone by pretty quick I mean I'm always gonna call this place husky I don't know they call it Esso now First, they sort of set the tone for the rest of the night and everybody else. Whoever parks first, they start the line and then everyone just sort of lines up beside them. begins. 